I'm Dave Daly with KaiserTV.com. We're here today at the Kaiser Fire Station uh, interviewing uh, members of our community who've been around the Kaiser Fire District since this year. We are celebrating 70 years of service. And everybody, this is Mike Bauer. Uh, thank you very much for talking with us today, Mike. Yeah. And uh, you spent many uh, blood, sweat, and tears on this uh, property where we're at right now because it served our community for so many years. But uh, you started as a volunteer, I believe, uh, here in our Kaiser Fire District. And share with our audiences some of your memories that you have about being part of this great organization. Yeah, I had the opportunity to serve the Citizens Kaiser here as uh, in pretty much every capacity with uh, starting out as an explorer uh, through high school and then becoming a volunteer and then later on being a paid staff career member. And uh, some of my fondest memories of, of each of those uh, areas are basically being able to serve uh, this organization and uh, with my dad. Uh, being a volunteer here, and just the basically the the calls that you run with with family or with him, and being able to um, respond on calls and do that, and then I later on became a firefighter, and do that for a living now. Um, but also just the the memories you make with the people that you meet here. Um, it seems like there's been so many people that have come and gone through this organization that you can't find someone in the fire service that doesn't know somebody who volunteered for Kaiser Fire District or for work for them. Or so yeah, so it's just been a it's been a really awesome, humbling experience to work here and and volunteer here and do all those other things. And Mike, tell us about what it was like to be at uh, McNary High School and then come over after school and be part of the Explorer program. Yeah, uh, the Explorer program was awesome. It, it really kind of opened my eyes to what the fire service is about. And we were able to pretty much do everything. They put us through everything that a uh, you know, normal fire academy would go through, but except for going to a fire. And uh, Jim Tratt was involved in that. He was kind of our head uh, Explorer Post Advisor. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty cool to be able to see at that age, like what the job was gonna be like. And it really just made, confirmed that that's what I wanted to do for a living. And so, uh, yeah, it was awesome. In its heyday, there was a lot of, there's probably 15, 16 explorers that were all really involved. Wow. Um, and a lot of those people are, are either have moved on in the fire service or serving the citizens of Kaiser in different roles, whether it be uh, with law enforcement or other things. So, yeah, just awesome experience. Were you able to serve with your dad and grandpa? No, my grandpa had already uh, retired from the fire department by then. But I got to go to a lot of the same functions, volunteers, um, uh, they do like a sweetheart's banquet and they used to do a bingo turkey shoot thing. And so it was still a family event, my grandma and grandpa and, and all his buddies, you know, guys that when I was a grand, my, you know, running around in the back room of the fire station that I got to see those people take them fishing, do all those things. So, uh, it was, it's been a family organization for me. And that's, I think that's why I wanted to be so involved in it, whether, you know, I, I was able to come back and be on the board for a short period of time. Um, and, and uh, yeah, so it's just, it, it's one of those organizations that's in my blood. And so um, I'm really proud of it. It's cool. So. Well, uh, there are more opportunities, everybody, that you can learn about uh, Kaiser Fire. I'll put the URL on screen and you can get more information about joining this great camaraderie of these great men that I've interviewed here today. And there's also many women here working. It's really uh, progressed. Um, uh, with having many people around this table protecting our community. But we just want to express to you, Mike, please tell your wife and extended family how grateful we are. It, it really weighs on um, our first responders. The job description is always being added to. You never know what the ring is going to uh, throw at you. And it's those family members that build you up on those rough days or um, time away from them when you're, you know, serving 24-7. Um, but... We just want to say uh, thank you to you and uh, this rich legacy of uh, the great Kaiser Fire District now celebrating 70 years. So thanks for talking with us. Yeah, thank you. We wish you all the best. And for more great stories here in Kaiser, visit kaisertv.com. Thank you.